everybody, welcome back. Okay, I'm back with October's um, Citrus Lane box. I just filmed September, so if you're interested in seeing what was in that, go ahead and look for that video. And then I'm also going to be doing a Candles by Victoria review after this one, so look for that video too. Okay, October Citrus Lane box. October is my birthday month, so there's a fun fact for you. Happy birthday to me. I did have a good birthday. Um, okay, and I should also point out that when my box came, um, normally this little strip of color here is yellow and this month it was pink so I was kind of excited to see that I love pink I don't know if it was for like breast cancer awareness October is that month um, or if it was just because I have a girl maybe the people who have boys got blue boxes I don't know but either way I was excited so okay October's theme for Citrus Lane um, if you haven't seen any of my videos before they always send you this little card that tells you the products that come in your box and then on the front there's a little blurb that tells you about the theme for the month so October's theme was playtime bath time bedtime so they gave us products geared towards that first thing that I got would be a playtime um, thing and it is a castanet um, triangle Castanet from Green Tones. It's supposed to be a new uh, launch product from Green Tones, which is a brand new eco-friendly line from one of our favorite brands, Honer Toys. So it's made from sustainable rubber wood, which must be a wood that grows fast and there's is available a lot. And I love that. It helps them develop hand-eye coordination and that sort of thing. It's for ages 24 months plus. Now, like I said, my daughter is 16 months, so she's not quite there yet, but it's something she can grow into. The problem I have with this <laughs> is that when you play a castanet, I think that you're supposed to be able to play it like this. But as you can hear, mine doesn't make a whole lot of noise. I don't think you're supposed to have to go like this. But like you see, it makes a lot more noise when I do it like that. When I do it like this, it really doesn't make a lot of noise. It's tied with this real thick, um, oh, there, mine just untied, so what does that tell you? But anyway, um, when you shake it like this, I mean, I'm an adult. I mean, I think my daughter shakes it. Like I said, she's 16 months, so she's not quite at that age yet, but she can't hardly get it to make any noise, and she does like this with it because she's just not at all interested. Um, so, I don't know, maybe it's something she can grow into, but um, beyond that, when I went to gogreentones.com, which is the website that they list, the toys aren't for sale on that website. It gives you item numbers, but it doesn't list a price for any of them or anywhere that you should be able to buy the toys. So, I find it very annoying that I can't buy those toys. I wonder why a company would give Citrus Lane toys to put in their box that aren't for sale. It's like, what is the point of that? I don't know. So, anyways, I couldn't find a price on them. It says that these toys are from one of their favorite brands, Honer Kids. So I looked up that brand, and they do have some castanets for sale. And things that looked sort of like that were about $8. So that's my guesstimate of what it's worth. $8. Can't do any better than that. Anyways, moving on. So <clears throat> the next thing we got was Water Bugs from Boone. And it is this bathtub toy. And it comes with this little net and these little bugs float on the surface and the kids are supposed to be able to scoop the bugs up with the little water thing. And what is so funny about this is that I just bought a toy almost exactly like this from Walmart. So me and Citrus Lane were thinking alike this month. So um, anyways, it says that the toy is free from BPA, phthalates, and PVC so you won't have to worry about any of that black gunky mold. Um, and as your child learns, they will learn how to scoop the thing. So that's good. Um, I looked it up on booninc.com. That's B-O-O-N-I-N-C.com. And they're $9.99 a piece. So I think that's a good value for the box. Next thing we got was Bops from Good Boy Organics. And it is these chips. And Bops stands for Baked Organic Potato Snack. I got the sea salt kind from what I can see this company also makes like a barbecue and a sour cream and onion. Um, but 65% less fat than regular potato chips. Certified gluten-free. That's awesome. A lot of people are watching that nowadays. No um, bioengineered ingredients. So non-GMO. That's wonderful. And also USDA organic. Um, as you can see, all the chips inside the bag are like the same size and the same shape. So... They must be, like, made from, they must mash up the potatoes and then cut the chips and bake them or something. I suppose that doesn't matter. I just noticed it, but 
<clears throat> so here's another one that I had a really hard time finding. Um, it lists the website goodboyorganics.com. Again, this is another one that you go to that website and the stuff isn't for sale. It just kind of talks about it. Um, I did see that it was for sale at Whole Foods and some other natural food stores, but there isn't a Whole Foods by me, and I live in Fort Wayne, Indiana, so that's not a, I mean, Fort Wayne is in a small place, but we don't have a Whole Foods, so I was able to find some for sale on Amazon.com. You had to buy a package of 12 three-ounce packages, and it was $48.36. Now, my bag here is .8 ounces, so... The three ounce packages that you would be getting if you ordered it are going to be, you'd get three times as many chips basically as you get in this. Um, and $48.36 seems like a lot, but it really breaks down to about $4 or $4 and some per three ounce bag, which for an organic, baked, gluten free thing, that's what you're going to pay. So I think the price is pretty on point with what you're going to pay for something like that anyway. Um, but, anyways, my little um, 0.8 ounce bag breaks down to um, $1.07. And I tried them. They're not bad. My daughter really doesn't like them, but I didn't think they tasted bad. I think it would be a good alternative for somebody who's watching the fat or whatever. So it was decent. Next thing I got was, or the last two things I got, Baby Bug from Cricut Magazine and Baby Bug Magazine Digital Subscription from Cricut Magazine. So they sent me this little book that's kind of like a magazine book hybrid um thing so this is kind of cute I think that my daughter's a little bit young for something like this but I could read it to her and show her the pictures now so I mean I guess it's not too bad um the Cricut magazine I looked it up on cricutmag.com which actually directs you to a different website which is annoying but $5.99 if you want to buy copies of these little books $5.99 a piece um, that's what these are. And then you can get the digital subscription to do like on your iPad or on your computer or whatever. Um, they gave us a, th a free three month prescription or $19.99 for one year print and digital bundle. So if you wanted to do the print and the digital, obviously the $19.99 per year would be the way to go. Um, but that was that. And I think for my daughter, I, I mean, they say the website, you can do it six months plus, but my daughter doesn't really get that stuff yet. So I'm a little, uh, I, I mean, I would appreciate that, like I said, I think when she's older. So, but anyways, the magazine, like I said, $5.99. And then the website, if you just want the digital subscription, it's $4.99 per month, which equals out to $14.97 value for the box. So... Total value for October's box is $40.02. Did I like the box? Not really. I'm pretty underwhelmed with October's box. I definitely don't like it as much as September's box or some of the other previous boxes that I've gotten. But, I mean, I get two other monthly subscriptions, but they're only $10 a month. And when people say that they didn't like what came in the box, I'm the first one to stand up and say, well, not every single box is going to be a home run for you. But that's $10. When you start talking about $25 a month and you get a box that you're not that excited about, it seems like a lot more of a bite. So I understand when people say that they really expect the boxes to be on point with good stuff. Um, so I'm not going to be a Debbie Downer. I'm not going to stop my subscription. I, I like getting stuff for my daughter and kind of the fun of not really knowing what's going to come and the exposure to new companies and brands that I wouldn't have otherwise tried. So it's not like I'm going to cancel my subscription. But um, I guess I really wasn't that happy with October's box. So hang in there, right? We'll see what comes next month. <laughs> um, it would take a few months in a row of, of it being bad stuff for me to cancel. So I don't know. We'll see what comes next month. And I'll see you next month. Same time, same place. We'll see you then. Bye-bye, guys.